In this how-to session, we're going to cover how to convert older Pro Tools sessions in the SD2 format to the newer, more modern WAV format. Uh, historically, SD2 was a proprietary format for DigiDesign or Avid, uh, the maintainers and owners of the Pro Tools product. Uh, today we're going to cover how to get those old files converted over to WAV so you can load them into a more modern Pro Tools DAW or any other DAW that you may prefer to move to uh, today. What you'll need uh, for this session, all the tools that we're going to use for this exercise or tutorial is VirtualBox, which is a free software program from a company called Oracle. Uh, and we're going to be using a virtual environment from a Windows 7 machine. So I have a licensed version of Windows 7 and I've installed that in VirtualBox. Uh, you can use a newer uh, operating system if you have a license to do that. Okay, the next thing is the next thing is a current version of Pro Tools software, and I've got the latest and greatest from, from Avid uh, downloaded onto my desktop as part of a, a license, as part of a subscription. And then the magic behind it all is this SD2 WAVE program that will convert those files or sessions into the WAVE format. And this program was compiled for Windows, and so that's why I'm using a Windows 7 machine. And the last thing is, this is for all you Mac folks, uh, this was uh, specifically for an Intel platform. So I have an older version of a MacBook Pro, and it is running the Intel processor. The SD2 Wave program, Windows 7, VirtualBox, all requires the Intel processor and its virtualization capabilities. If you've moved to an M1 environment, I suggest you go purchase an older MacBook Pro or get an Intel environment where you can run through this. I don't have an opportunity to test that. I don't have an environment to test it on something else like Linux or, or a native Windows environment. So, um, But this is uh, just an example of what's possible out there to convert these Pro Tools sessions to a more modern WAV file. All right, let's get into it. All right, here it is, the subject of today's uh, conversion, which is this song called Dark Water Day. Uh, something that I copied from well, an eight millimeter tape to cloud and it sat there for 15 years and now we're going to convert it. Uh, and then this other thing that you see here is the SD2 wave zip that we'll talk about in a few minutes and how to get that operational for you in your um, virtual Windows 7 environment. But let's go back to the project re real quick, okay? So Dark Water Day is the, the name of the session. And really what I have is just a series of audio files um, that are in the Sound Designer 2 file format. You can see that here on the right hand side, it's Sound Designer 2. And those are the files that we're going to convert. Uh, and then there's this um, session file that you use to load into Pro Tools that will identify all the things that are related to that session to include audio files, um, you know, sometimes faders and automation. But in this, we've just stripped out everything and all we have is the SD2 files. Okay, so how do we get all this to work? So we get a program called VirtualBox installed. And I have uh, my PC instance running. You see it here at the top. Um, I have Mountain Lion running. So it does run things like you know, uh, OS X, Mac OS type operating systems as well. But I have uh, my PC is a Windows 7 PC. Well, where is the Windows uh, PC? Where did I stick it? Where is There it is. It's hiding over here. All right. This is what it looks like. It looks like I'm running a Windows PC on my Mac, which is the beauty of virtualization. Okay, so this is a fully functional, fully compatible Windows 7 environment. I use a Windows 7 CD to install it. And, and what I have is a special configuration that allows me to share files between the host, which is running VirtualBox and running this my PC or Windows 7 environment. Um, and I, I've shared files. And to do that, for those people who are familiar with this, uh, is just to go into settings for the virtual machine look at shared folders and I've shared my downloads folder which is where um, where you saw the dark water day song I put that in there on my Mac so that's my Mac's downloads directory and in the Windows environment if you're a Windows person this is the G Drive okay and when I save that away I basically can go into uh, something like Explorer go to my computer look at the G drive and if I go there there's there's the dark water day song but actually I, I saved this away and, and I protected it made a copy of it so I've got a directory called old Pro Tools SD to wave for the name of this session or for this session right so there's the dark water day that we'll be converting today all right so the other thing is to get access to this SD2 wave program and there'll be a link in the description as to how to get it um, but what I did is I basically copied it over from the G drive if I go back to the top of this G drive you'll see that um, <clears throat> in episode one, I see there's the SD2 wave. I just installed that and I've already installed that in this environment. So in the interest of time, I think everyone knows how to install stuff. So I'm not gonna show that. 
Um, and we're going to go right in here to the dark water day and you'll see I showed you the audio files they're all here uh, and and then there's the session file we talked about so I'm literally in a Windows environment looking at things that the host where my Mac is presenting from its downloads directory so let's go ahead and start the SD2 wave program uh, a couple things before we get into this one is a source well, before we start converting, not getting into it, we're already into it. So the source directory is is where all of those SD2 files are, right? So um, if we go over to the directory where the dark water day is, we go into the audio files, and we just click on the first one and do we do a command A in, in Mac or a control A in Windows. Basically what we're doing is we're just selecting everything here. So even actually, I'm sorry, on the Mac, you still have to do control A. That selects all the files. Then I click the select button. Now all of my source files have been selected. Then there's the destination and you think, well, this is pretty easy. It just should be the same directory. And, and we are, we're going to put them in the same directory. But if you're doing a bunch of sessions all at once, know that the last session you had or the last directory is where the destination is. So you have to select the destination each time, which may mean traversing the tree, the directory hierarchy and going up to the next level, finding the song you're working on next and going there. In this case, we're only doing one in the instance that we've, you know, the activation of ST2 wave, we're only doing it once. So we just select the directory that's the default. Okay. Now, another thing before we actually do the convert <clears throat> at the bottom is um, there, if you don't have this written down, if your engineers haven't written it down, or you bounced around between different sample rates and resolutions experimenting decades ago, you may not know or remember what the sample rate is. And so you may have to play around with things between 44 and uh, 441 and 8 uh, kilohertz for your sample rate. And you may also be messing around uh, with your bit rate because there was a, devices out there that only did 16 bits and there's also now, you know, 24. And you may get a couple of different results when you do this. Uh, you may get static. You may get nothing. And it may error out. <clears throat> so you may have to play around with it. Now, I remember back in the day, all I did was 441 and 24. So I'm just going to go ahead and convert it. And this could take a while. And by a while, I mean maybe a minute. But this is a very, very simple song or simple session there wasn't like 32 tracks or 64 tracks and that's it it's done now the proof of this is if I go over to my Mac and I look at my audio files directory I see all the wave files and that's what we're gonna need for the next part of this All right, now that we have everything converted, we're going to spend the rest of this session basically in our Mac environment. So you can shut down, uh, you know, shut down VirtualBox if you want to, if you need to save on processing time. All right, so what we have now is that directory with all the WAV files as well as the control file, the Dark Water Day control file. So I'm going to go into Pro Tools, Open Session. That's why you probably want to try VirtualBox. It's going to clock like crazy. All right, let me go to my downloads directory, episode one, dark water day, and there's the control file. Um, and we hit open. Now that control file is gonna say, hey, here's all the audio files. But if we didn't have those WAV files, Pro Tools would start complaining. And Pro Tools, there we go. About not finding things. But it's actually smart enough to know, hey, this, at least this newest version is smart enough to know, hey, there's a song or a track similar to this one, named the same, except it's got a wave extension. And it actually loads it in, so you'll see it here in a second. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so it's asking me about uh, all these old plugins from old sessions that I don't have installed on this laptop. I don't need the report on it. Thanks very much. And now it's going to build the edit and mix windows for you to see. Notice how it added all those files in the background. Now it's going to go through. Now, if you didn't have this wave conversion, and you kind of air it out a little bit, you're gonna see nothing in these sessions. But when you see the the wave, the, the wave files, the colors of the different um, tracks filling in, you know it's processing the old files into uh, to this session. It's pretty cool. I'm excited about this. 
and that's it. I mean, I can hit, hold on. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to play this here. No, the outputs aren't set up. Yeah, it's complaining about the outputs and the CPU because I'm running video. Anyways, that's that's the way to convert it. That's it. And you could save this away. So the one thing you'll have to do, if you want to use this for later Pro Tool sessions, is hit save. It's not gonna like just straight up saving. So I'm getting a pinwheel because I'm CPU bound right now. It's gonna ask me to save that song again. I'll hit save. It's it says it's replacing the file, but it's not really doing that. And I'll, and I'll show you that real quick. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't really replace the file. What it does, it's still clocking here. I do have a new Mac on order. Um, give this a second for it to refresh. Yeah, there it is. I just kind of left the directory and went back into it. There's a darkwaterday.ptx. Now, moving forward, if you're using Pro Tools sessions, you just use the PTX file, and everything is is hunky dory. Wow, I've never used that before. Okay, but it's um, everything's gonna be good for you for the for the rest of these sessions. All right, and that's it. That's that's how you get it converted. But wait, there's more. Oh wait, there's one more thing. So if you want to take these audio files out of here and move them to another DAW, <clears throat> the problem you'll have is, you notice how all these audio files, they're just out there in space. They're not really grounded to zero. And if you were just to save them away and load them into another DAW, they'd all line up to zero and things would be completely out of sequence. So what you need to do is <clears throat> something I Googled on the internet. You can find this somewhere else if you want to is I basically want to select all the files in this session there all the files and then I want to do a shift alt 3 and it's going to take all the muted things and get rid of them and it's going to give you solid wave files through the whole thing and then if you want you can not mess with the session you can do a command shift K and then you can save this somewhere else you can export all of these files somewhere else and then you've got a directory full of uh, let me give me a second here what I'll just do is create a new folder called uh, zero aligned great and now I'll take all of those like full length from the beginning of the song all the way to the end I can take all of these wave files and just export them there uh, the same wave format you know 24 bit 441 uh, if you want to enforce avid compatibility I think if you're moving to another DAW that's a completely useless option um, but go ahead and just export and now you're saving all of those away and you can drag them into another DAW if you want to. That's literally all you need to do. It's pretty awesome. Um, and, and that's it. That, that was a kind of little extra at the end there for you. So thanks for, thanks for uh, sticking around.